So Lorenzo, I'm going to propose to you an idea that I it might exist. It might exist within teams. I don't think it does, certainly not in e-commerce, but I think it's like a killer idea. You and I, in our process of having talked to so many different online retailers, you and I have encountered many, many retailers that have massive sales on their product pages. We're not talking about like retailers that have like a million dollars in sales a year on the product page. We're talking about like 50, 100 million dollars a year through one product page. And still, the mindset doesn't shift. Like they still look at all of their product pages as being a portfolio of pages. They say, if we're going to do an experiment, let's update the template of all the pages, which you and I have talked about. It doesn't make sense if you have one product that's driving 100 million in sales or even like 20 million in sales or even like 5 million in sales. Um, it you know it requires proportional attention versus something that's driving you know, 200,000 in sales. But this specific thought experiment is for imagine a scenario where you are a CEO of a company that you have a product page that's driving $100 million in sales through that product page. And you're driving people to this page through a variety of mechanisms. I have an idea for radical experimentation because I think when, when we think about experimentation, we think about experimentation in terms of like, okay, well, how do I improve this, the copy of this page and how do I change the images and stuff like that, right? I have an idea. And my idea is that if I was driving $100 million in sales and I had, let's say, a marketing team of like, you know, 20 people, um, I would break them into two groups, two camps. And whatever my ad spend is on an annual basis for that product, um, I would divide that ad spend by two. So if I'm spending like $10 million a year uh, driving traffic to that product page, I'd give 5 million to group A, 5 million to group B. I would even allow, give them, so they can do their own photo shoots. They can write their own descriptions. I love it. They can do their, manage their own ad budgets. They can do whatever the hell they want. And I think that that competition is going to give you 5x more results than sequential A-B testing on that product page where all 20 people are thinking of like, oh, let me change the layout of the page. Or let me, what are your thoughts about this crazy idea? Yeah, I think this is fun. It reminds me of like some projects I've done when I was at university where you would put a bunch of teams against each other to win sort of like a prize and so on. I think it's very interesting. Um, one one thought I, I have is that maybe you want to make sure that, you know, there's only upside for the winner and there's no downside for whoever, you know, doesn't win the competition. Because I, you know, I think a lot of people would be a little bit less confident about doing it because yeah. they're like, oh my God, if I lose, I might lose my job or, or something. No, no, like that. true. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's so a really good point. I, I would frame it as only upside type right. of uh, type of challenge, but I love it. it, it it's, it's a great way to push people to, um, you know, to, to be better, to like, like push themselves to, to, to try crazy things. And, 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 and again, I think that there has to be like some sort of like the CEO or the founder that is okay with this. I, I see a lot of founders. Not well, there are, there are two other things that I'll say about this as a, as an experimenter, you and I both know this. We only, it's such a weird thing. We only get access to one step of the process. We don't get access to the whole customer journey, right? So here I'm actually giving my team access to the ads, access to the product page, access to even the email, email. So they can like the, the pop-up on the product page, they can actually program their own email sequence. So I think it gives a lot of autonomy to the team and they control the destiny. I would, I think I would have much better results if I was able to actually control the entire funnel for that product page. The other thing I'll say is that I'm going to even add one more thing into this, which is you can even give discounts and promos. So it's a trade-off. So, okay, you want to give a 20% off? We're going to measure on the net profits that we make. So if you're able to give 20% off and we're able to make more net profits and not hurt lifetime value, not hurt our brand, then you win. So I feel it gives a lot more agency and skin in the game uh, to the team. I, I just think that, I just, I just think that it's, uh, it's a very interesting way for big brands they have enough sample size. They have enough everything, right? So, I think this could also be uh, something that you could do. A cr like imagine crowdfunding campaign ideas uh, on the internet. So, um, I remember Google buying this company called Kaggle. Have you heard about uh, this company mm -hmm. called Kaggle? It's like um, a, a community for data scientists. And one of the things that they have is like um, competitions on, on this community. And what they are is basically like, you know, 
a company, usually it's like a big company like Netflix or, you know, Facebook, uh, but also like more traditional companies like, um, you know, the government, for example, or, uh, you know, any type of company. What they do is they um, come up with a very tough challenge that they're trying to solve, right? And they give, they say, here's the description and the brief of all the entire challenge. Here's the data set, because in their case, it's about data science. So they need to give uh, the data set away in order for the data scientists to, to figure out the problem. And then they give you like $100,000 for whoever wins that challenge. I see. I think something like this could be applied for a bunch of marketers. Exactly. No, I think I think it'll be really interesting, and and it'll be a true merit based system. It's like true A/B testing at you know at scale. So anyway, very something I've thought about. Yeah, and and the other thing is like you don't even need to be within the company, right? Perfect. Like, like imagine if I, imagine if I created like that for like copy, right? I'm gonna give fifty thousand dollars a word to whoever comes up with like the best copy. And again, it doesn't have like the, the term best means like you either test it or it's your opinion to be the best, but then you have like a pipeline of like crazy amount of copy ideas for your product page, your emails and so on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So maybe this already exists, but I, I think that if you and I became the heads of uh, a company that was doing hundred million sales, I think you and I would uh, definitely make this a reality. So all right, all right buddy, take care.